one of the big topics in climate change is sea level. The way in which sea level changes the most dramatic way is when you have glaciers on land and they go from land and they go into the ocean. It's like taking an ice cube and putting it in a glass that causes the level in the glass to rise. And where that happens is two places, Greenland and Antarctica. So we go to both places to study. And we're repeating the same measurements of the properties of the ocean and the glaciers where they meet to see what's going on there. Why are these glaciers falling into the ocean so rapidly now? On a lab on the NYU uh, Washington Square Village campus. The equipment in this room is designed to mimic the atmosphere and oceans in this most simple sense. We have warm fluid, cold fluid, which is a basic ingredient of, environment, of the Earth's environment, right? The polar regions and the tropics. And then we feed them into the turntable. And the key element of the turntable is that it spins. And when you bring those two things together, temperature gradient in fluids and rotation, you can represent pretty much any phenomena that's happening in the global environment. The lab is meant to be a form of a model. The limitations, though, as you can see, it's a scale model. It's only one meter. The Earth is six million meters. <laughs> but still, you can learn basic properties, and you begin to understand Oh, that looks like a Gulf Stream. That's interesting. Oh, that, look at this experiment. That's a jet stream. In the lab, uh, people stop and look at it every 10 or 15 minutes, and they're really curious about what this rotating table is. So I think it's a good thing to have this on a corner. I think people uh, are interested in science. They find it uh, somewhat mysterious. I kind of enjoy the busyness of it. It's just more fun than being in some isolated laboratory somewhere.